Well, so for those of you who don't know me, let me say a few words in as introduction. So, um, yes, I was at the ORC and um, had fantastic time. And <laughs> um, in setting that up, uh, one of the questions that you asked me was, so why Southampton? Why the ORC? And gosh, it was a long time ago, more than 30 years ago. But um Southampton has a fantastic relation, uh, reputation and um, fantastic research in the area of laser physics. So that's what attracted me. And then I, I was there at 1989, <laughs> which dates me, but um, some of the other context around what was happening at uh, Southampton at the time, that's the year that the ORC was funded and was started. So, Southampton was a really exciting place to go, but there was a lot going on in terms of research, but also a lot of building happening. So for the first year, it was very loud, a lot of a lot of construction work, but it's definitely paid off. Um, so after doing my PhD, my intention was to go out into industry, but nothing in life ever goes as we plan. And I think that's one of the the learnings I'd like to share is um, you, you can't prepare for every turn of events. So I timed my graduation perfectly with uh, a significant recession, not just in the UK, but all of Europe. So things did not look very promising for getting a job in industry. And so I had in parallel been applying for research grants and I was very, very lucky, I think, um, I encourage everyone to make your own luck by creating as many opportunities as possible in life. And I was lucky in this case because one of those opportunities came through for me. And um, I went to do a postdoc at Stanford and um, that put me, well, it brought me to America, which was very exciting. And it put me in the middle of Silicon Valley, which, has turned out to be a wonderful experience. Um, and it's given me op an opportunity to do research in industry and also from there move on to do business in industry and um, to work at some very interesting companies. So over the past 30 years, I've worked in a number of different roles at different small and large companies, most recently at Meta, obviously a very large company. So I went to Facebook in 2014 and uh, was responsible for helping direct their optical technology. And that was a, a great time. One of the things I liked best about Meta was, well, I think it's, it's Meta, right? So it's a uh, it's a hyperscale data center, a social media company. It's very exciting. But what was particularly wonderful about the role was I was able to have a lot of impact. And I think um, having impact and, and feel like you're being useful is what we're all looking for in, in our different ways. Um, and so for me, that was it's it was a really good time. Um, but then it was time for a change. Uh, working at a big company uh, is one thing, um, but I was looking for some more flexibility, some more flexibility with my time and looking for more creative ways to be useful. And so last summer, I took a career leap <laughs> and um, I formed my own consulting company and I'm having a great time. I'm really enjoying the flexibility. As with everything in life, there's a trade-off, so there's more risk, but um, I'm at a time in my life where that risk is really exciting. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to talking to everyone and hearing some really interesting questions. <laughs>